<sighs> All right, guys. So tomorrow I plan to go fishing. I'm going to meet up Mark MDLR Fishing at the jetties. The last few, few days he's been telling me the jetty action has been really good. It's been picking up. So that's the plan. Head up to the jetties. Hopefully hook up with some Spanish mackerel. Maybe a jack. Who knows? And with that in mind, I think I'm going to do a catch and cook for you guys. It's been a while. So that's the plan. Spanish mackerel and a catch and cook. Can't wait, man. It should be a lot, a lot of fun. Crush on you, wish me the best luck Thinking I'm obsessive over you Don't mind my aggression There's no need to question Just know that your lesson's overdue Alright gentlemen, we're at the jetty today Finally made it here safe at the jetties We got some wind, we got some rain in the forecast And that's why I'm not out in my little boat rover or in the kayak So if any of you guys ask me where's the boat rover I'm gonna delete your comments immediately. Nah, I'm just joking. Hopefully the plan will work out today. I'm looking forward. I'm looking towards a good day because it's been a while since I've been to the jetty, especially here on surface size. And um, the water is looking kind of rough and dirty. So I'm trying to be optimistic. Uh, we'll see though, we'll see. All right, boys, it's been a while. Yes, I know, jetty fishing has been a while, but we're here and we're gonna do it. It's that time of year. When it starts warming up and all these pelagic fish, well, as pelagic as you can get here in Galveston, come up to the jetties. So here we go, baby, here we go. All right, we're gonna start off with a steady retrieve. See if that nets anything. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see. Oh, wow, I just got hit already. Wow. Oh, wow, I just got hit. That was a nice dump. This guy, yeah, yeah, right there, like right there. I was like, <laughs> you got hit, you got hit. I just got smacked. I was just adjusting my, my tension on my uh, drag. Oh, there we go, there we go, fish on. Wow, that was fast. That's gotta be a smack. That feels like, that feels like a smack. Wow, yeah, that's a smack. Wow, that's fast, man, second cast. Let's go, boy, woohoo! Look at that. Nice smack. That's what I'm here for, baby. Oh, look at that smack. That's a nice smack, too. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Let's go, boy. Look at that. Let's go, boy. Awesome, man. Dude, that's awesome. Man. Keeper. Never mind. Oh, there he is. I get him. That's freaking, dude, second cast. Can you believe that? First cast, I got thumped hard. All right, check it out, guys. Look at this nice smack here. Not bad for my second cast, man. Look at that, look at that smack. Isn't that pretty? Dude, it's gonna come out to be a really nice catch and cook, man. I'm really excited. Look at that, boy. <laughs> I was just telling Christian that people that are coming out fishing, they take a look down and see our fish and then they just stop. Yeah, I know. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was immediate. What is that? On a small spoon. Might be a smaller speck. Smaller smack, yeah, that's a smaller guy. I'll take him. <laughs> nice, baby. Nice on the small spoon too. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh yeah, he's legal, baby. <laughs> Smallest one today, but I don't care. Oh yeah, baby. Check it out on the small spoon, guys. A half ounce, half ounce. Half ounce. Yeah. All right, fellas, it's been really slow today. Got my second one. He's a little bloody. He'll be all right, though. He's gonna be able to make a nice addition to that catch and cook. Got him on a small, check it out, half ounce spoon. It's bloody, I know, but it's supposed to be silver, not red. <laughs>
All right, really simple. This is what I'm doing, guys. I'm just throwing it out there as far as I can, giving it a good six second count, letting it drop all the way down. Oh, did it get wet? Oh, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that was easy. Well, I didn't even do anything. I just let it drop and they're biting. Half ounce spoon. Mark, half ounce spoon, bro. That's what they're hitting now. Put the small spoon on. The small spoon, yeah. I think I'm gonna let this one go. He's kind of small. Yeah. Seen that movie, uh, Shark Tale? <laughs> <laughs> Is that one with the clown fish in it? No, that's an emo. No, bro. no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Here you go, little buddy. Thanks for the fight. All right, fellas, I think that's gonna be it for me today. Uh, pretty slow day, but you know, I got what I needed. I'm gonna do a catch and cook, as I promised you guys. Now I need to figure out where I'm gonna cook these delicious, delicious mackerel. Okay, guys, a little bit windy, but we'll manage. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're already here in the Surfside uh, Freeport area where there's a lot of beach access. So we're gonna look for a nice secluded spot on the beach, cook up these Spanish mackerels, and have a good old time. All right guys. I think we found a good place to do the catch and cook. Man, it's been a good while since I've been to the beach and do a catch and cook. I don't think I've ever done a catch and cook on the channel of the beach, man. Such a nice day. It turned out to be really nice. It was supposed to rain and be high. Well, we still got high winds, but I'm gonna make the best of it, man. I'm about to fillet these fish, man. Let's go, baby. All right, gents, just got the fillets done. Now I'm ready to cook them up, man. I'm gonna make it really basic. Just fry them on a the pan with a little bit of seasoning. Mwah. All right, guys, simple ingredients. Check it out. Got the Old Bay seasoning. Got some nice lemons here. Oh my God. Got the olive oil non-stick spray. The first batch is ready. Looks pretty good, man. No seasoning. What I'm going to do is going to add some lemon to it. Oh yeah, right there, like that. Nice lemon. I'm going to add some of the Old Bay. And voila, there's my catch and cook. It's not gourmet, it's not glamorous. But you know what? It's going to taste really good, I already know. Man, I'm telling you what, Spanish mackerel, in my opinion, it's one of the best tasting fish you can catch here in Galveston, man. It's so good. I put it up there with flounder. Yeah, that's good. Just fried it on the pan. Just put some Old Bay, some lemon, a little bit of olive oil nonstick. That's all you need, man. That's all you need. Also, what goes good with fish that I've actually found out is Fritos chili cheese corn chips, man. These are so good. I guess the seasoning matches well with the fish flavor. I don't know, but every time I eat fish, I have to have some of these, man. 
I tell you what, man, what a day, what a day, man. Such a good day to come out fishing, target your species and catch your species that you're trying to target and then cook them afterwards for catch and cook. I can't think of anything better, man. Life is good. I can't complain, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys think I should do more of these? Let me know, man. But I had a blast today. The food was excellent. The fish was excellent. The fishing was excellent. Everything was excellent, man. Wish the winds died down a little bit, but hey, man, I'm not going to complain too much, man. It's all of you or nothing